Hello everyone, this is Manjula Devi P, working as Assistant Professor in GFGC Kanakpura. In this session, uh, I would like to discuss about technical analysis. In the previous sessions, in fact, we have uh, discussed in detail about uh, uh, the fundamental analysis. In the fundamental analysis, we have uh, economic analysis, industry analysis and company analysis. So now we are moving on to the next stage of the security analysis which is technical analysis. Let us see what is the meaning of technical analysis, what are the tools and uh, techniques used to carry out the technical analysis. So basic meaning of technical analysis is it is directed towards predicting the price of a security. Whereas in the fundamental analysis, the main idea was to find out the intrinsic value of the security. So here the main uh, objective of technical analysis is to predict the price, what would be the future price of the security. Now for technical analysis, the price of the stock depends on the demand and supply in the market price. When we studied in fundamental analysis, the intrinsic value of a security depends on the economy, the macro factors, depending on the industry factors, depending on the uh, various factors affecting the company's performance. But when it comes to technical analysis, the main logic or idea or uh, the assumption here is the stock prices depend solely on the market forces of demand and supply for that particular security in the market. So there are many tools, techniques which are developed to study the past patterns. So what is the pattern in which the stock price is moving? So based on the past patterns, predict the future price. Yeah, it is subject to some assumptions. What are the assumptions? The first assumption, as I have already told, the market value of the security solely determined by the factors or forces in the market, that is the forces of demand and supply. So these are the two uh, factors which mainly uh, decides the price of the security. Then factors affecting the stock prices may be rational or irrational. Now the factors which affect this demand and supply in the market that could be rational that means you can make a clear sense between the increase in the price or decrease in the price or why this has happened or the factors could be rational like you can't make sense because this happened so the stock price has changed. So uh, it could be rational or irrational. Then st security prices move in trends or waves which can be both upwards or downwards depending upon the securities, uh, the sentiment, psychology and emotions or of operators or traders. So here the main assumption is the price of the security moves in trends or waves depending on the psychology of the operators, psychology or sentiments of the operators. Then the present trends are influenced by the past trends and projections of the future trends depends on the present and past trends. That means uh, it is like the present trend can be predicted or the present price can be predicted near to accuracy by studying the past movements in the prices. Same way the future price also can be predicted depending on studying the present and past prices. This is one of the important assumption. Then they say changes in trends in stock prices are caused whenever there is a shift in demand and supply. Uh, you all know increase and decrease and shift in demand and supply. You might have studied in economics. So this increase, decrease or movement along the demand and supply curve happens directly in relation to the price of the security. But when it comes to shift, this happens because of any non-price factor or because of any rational or irrational factor which affects the uh, share price. 
so uh, the sudden change or that uh, suppose the price of the security was in increasing trend suddenly it starts decreasing so that decrease which happens and then it might go in a decreasing trend for some time then it may again pick up and start increasing that means whatever this trend changes in the trend happens because of the uh, shift in the demand and supply factors yeah this shifts in demand and supply can be predictable according to technical analysis the assumption is you can predict the shifts that is going to take place some chart trends tend to repeat themselves okay some of the trends are going to repeat themselves they are called patterns okay so now it is increasing then after some time it starts decreasing then again it starts increasing then decrease so you can see a wave there okay so that uh, the assumption is because the trends are going to repeat it is going to form a pattern significance of technical analysis uh, why, what is the main importance of technical analysis why is it actually uh, conducted first and foremost for avoiding risk so if you are doing a thorough study of the movement in the stock prices so you are not investing abruptly with the uh, without any uh, precautions or without any analysis so if you do so you have a chance of getting risk or getting into loss but if you have a thorough analysis if you study carefully what were the previous patterns how it changed what are the factors which affected then you can avoid the risk by playing safe in the stock market then knowing the basic objective so as investors are having their own investment objective each one may be unique but generally everybody wants to make profit out of it but again when it comes to that uh, the profit the timing the rate of return they expect all that differs so what is your basic basic objective do you have a speculative motive in the short run or is your objective is to have um, the profit in the long run or do you are you looking into the capital appreciation aspect or are you looking into the uh, periodic returns aspect so all that can be uh, planned accordingly if we can if we conduct the technical analysis and anyway as i said the um, common objective could be to earn good profit so if you want to earn a good profit you have to conduct technical analysis before investing and to have a sound investment decision you need to have technical analysis then as the main gist of technical analysis is to predict the price what would be the price in future so you have to conduct the technical analysis then to identify the pattern so in which is it moving in which at what frequency the trends uh, tend to repeat themselves which to make the pattern so even uh, to identify the patterns you have to conduct the technical analysis then tools and techniques of technical analysis that means this entire uh, analysis is done by keeping certain things into consideration first one is price that is to check the future price or changes in price uh, the patterns that is going to form because of the changes in price that is one aspect the second one is time that means what is the price changes in association with time so is the price changing in 6 months or is it changing in next month itself or is it going to be changing after one year that means the frequency the uh, the time period in which your the price is going to be affected then the volume so what would be the total volume of the securities or shares which is going to be dealt in that particular period of time at that particular price then the width that means for how long your analysis that means your predictions are going to work in that so that is called as width so whenever we do uh, analysis we consider these four things so the price changes in price associated with the time and in those what is the volume 
then what is going to be the time period at which you are going to conduct this. Then what are the tools used for technical analysis? Yeah, there are many tools in fact, not just these, there are many more. Uh, first and foremost, we have Doe theory. In the next session, we are going to discuss in detail about the Doe theory. Then we have something called charting, uh, very commonly used uh, technique. Then we have trends, moving averages, uh, advanced decline theory, short selling theory. There are many, there are many uh, tools and techniques used to conduct this technical analysis. Most of the uh, specialized softwares have come up in fact, then there are many simulations have come up in fact. So, there are many techniques available. So, here in the next session, we are going to discuss some basic uh, trends that you can, I mean the techniques that you can use. Now, just to have a quick recap of what we discussed here, uh, fundamental analysis and technical analysis, these are the two uh, approaches for security analysis. Fundamental analysis, the main idea is to find the intrinsic value of the security. The assumption is intrinsic value depends on the economic factors, industry factors and company factors. Whereas in the technical analysis, the idea is to predict the future price and according to this, the price depends solely on the demand and supply of the security in the market. So, here we have many tools and techniques to predict the uh, future prices and the belief is that uh, the trends are going to repeat themselves. If you carefully analyze the past trends, you can predict the present price. If you can predict the present price and you, by seeing the past price, you can also predict the future price. That is the basic assumption. So, these are the references that you can refer through for any further information. We will meet in the next session to study to discuss about Doe theory. Thank you very much.